Well, all right. It is Tuesday, May 21, just after 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 Eastern. And uh, I'm done for the day. Terrible day. 0 and 4. Uh, just couldn't get anything going. Really, my first trade was not a bad trade. I, I was within a, a tick or two of getting the uh, profit target and uh, just came up short and went against me. Bottom ticked me out and then went on and uh, moved to where I thought it would go. Um, so yeah, 0 and 4 today. Uh, the unfortunate thing, PA 10, 0 and 4, uh, blew up the account today. So, uh, this $273 and 60 cents is the amount of real money I spent to acquire that account, had multiple months on the evaluation trying to pass that. And then plus the lifetime fee, this is the first PA out of 10 that I blew it up in the first month. Um, so nine out of 10 times it was worth getting the lifetime fee. Otherwise I would have paid more, um, for the PA. Um, really disappointing to have had 10 PAs and not get a single payout. Just, you know, it, it, it's like, I don't even really know what to say. Um, I really can't believe that I haven't had a payout in 10 PAs. Um, I've been on really great streaks, but the problem is I've really wasted a lot of my really good streaks on my evaluations and spent a lot of time on evaluations and a lot of good trades on evaluations. And then for whatever reason, I get to the PA and then that's when I, I hit tough spots, you know, and it's just been bad timing. Um, so, you know, there's a definite disappointment um, for the fact that uh, not a single payout in 10. I, I really would have never believed if you told me this at the beginning of my apex journey that I would go through 10 PAs and not have a payout. I would have just, I would have said no way, not a chance. Um, also evaluation 40, I was only a thousand away from passing it. Well, with today's 0 and 4 streak, I blew that up $33 on, uh, on that evaluation for the 80% discount. So I'm going to have to go ahead and use the 90% discount, take advantage of it. I'm going to go ahead and just replace all of these accounts today. And I'm going to make one last push. If, if I can't make figure out how to get another however many PAs I can get out of this next batch of evaluations, and if I can't figure out how to get a, a, a payout on however many PAs that is, I mean, maybe I got to reconsider trading um, on prop firms or on Apex or trading futures. I don't know. Definitely feeling the frustration today and the disappointment. Um, it is what it is. I, 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 you know, these days, any anybody and everybody's going to run into a day like this. You know, it, it's like, it's, it's almost unavoidable to a certain extent. Um, the market was really choppy and I did a great job of staying out of it, um, the whole morning up until it got up here. And that first trade I, I think was a good trade. I just, my profit target was a little bit further, um, than I was able to get. And, you know, I, I, I felt like I was playing it on the conservative side. Um, but if I was a little bit more conservative, I, I would have gotten there. So, um, if, if I got that first trade, the other three don't even happen. I'm sure of it. And I'll go through it and show you, but yeah, that's just really disappointing. So I've got, I've got this one evaluation left that, um, you know, $730 away from passing. Hopefully I can get that one passed and then I'll get, I'll replace all these accounts with new accounts. Um, so I don't know, another eight accounts will get up to evaluation 50, I guess, something like that. And then I'm going to make one last push. And then if I really, if I, if I can't get a, a payout, out of this next batch of accounts, then I got to reassess everything, right? I got to really decide whether I want to keep going or not, because it's, it's just, you know, I'm putting a lot of time and effort into this and, um, it's not paying off so far. So, um, but I'm not there yet. I'm, I'm still, you know, I, I do realize that no matter how good anybody is at trading, anybody can run into a day like this. Oh, and four, I haven't had an oh, and four day. I can't even remember the last time I had an 0 and 4 day. I'm not sure if I ever had an 0 and 4 day. Um, but uh, here we go. I mean, look at the live market. You know, if you go back and look at my live stream all day, I was talking about reaching the previous day close and closing the gap. And that's what uh, three of my four trades were about. And uh, now it's finally just done that after all the chop fest and chopping me up. So let's uh, get into the trades, take a look at them. But yeah, $273 of real money. Um, to acquire that PA, um, 
you know, that that's what I really lost today. Uh, and this, so it was a minus $300 day and, you know, in the big scheme of things, you know, $300 isn't, uh, like huge money, but it's just, you know, it, it's disappointing. So, um, all right, let's get into the trades and, uh, I'm over this day. So I want to get through this as fast as I can here. All right. So here we go. Um, when I started, it was about 620, 625. We were selling off and, um, I was going to try to play the, the opening, the New York open. And, um, I decided to go with the short. Now this was only on an evaluation. Um, so I know I could play OCO on the evaluation, but I decided I'm trying to practice to see if I can do it on the PA where I pick a side. And so I just didn't get triggered for the short here. Um, it went long instead. And, um, I didn't like the long anyway, so I, I wouldn't have been in here anywhere for the long, no matter what. Um, so it is what it is. Um, so I missed that trade. And then the way the price action was immediately, it was kind of like, okay, this is probably going to be one of those days. I had no good tick charts. Um, I, I literally found one good tick chart for my BS system. And for anyone that follows me, you know, I usually look for tick charts where every second entry is working for my profit target. And then those are the, the, charts that I play. And then I've also folded in uh, trading on the one minute. Um, so anyway, this was just chop fast. Um, I did like this trade, but I was hoping the setup would be lower. Um, it was too high and right into the EMA. So I stayed out of it would have been a great trade. And um, also the failure here would have been a great trade, but we had just come off of what looked like a double top. And so um, you know, I've seen those not work out great in the past too. So I stayed out of that. And then, um, we, we made this push up here and at this point, you know, I was really thinking we're going to close the gap. Uh, we're going to retest the high and close the gap. You know, that that's what was on my mind had, uh, two measure legs down perfectly to the tick. And, uh, as you can see here, and so I entered, um, long, and uh, as you can see, it, it went against me at first, but then had a higher low. Um, and there was really, I thought, no reason um, to not expect um, at least to get to the top of this candle. So what I did was um, I put my profit target to be just a little bit under this. And literally, if you go back and watch my live stream, I mean, my profit target was like something like right there. And so this came up, came within just a tick or two or three of touching my profit target and then went against me bottom ticked me out of the trade and then went and went to do basically exactly what i was expecting so that was a really disappointing trade and uh it was a good trade um i just my my profit target was a little too high and it, it didn't get resistance off of the level i was expecting i mean it, it's almost as if it, it got resistance there you know but I just unlucky, unfortunate, whatever you want to call it. Um, it was a good trade and just, um, came up just shy and, um, and I was just so confident that it was going up here that I wasn't willing to move my stop, um, to break even or anything like that. So, um, you know, and with the new rules, I was leaving my stop in place. So I accepted my loss you know, in case it just kept going down, but you know, look, this is what stops can do to you. You know, literally my uh, stop was one tick higher than the bottom of the wick. And so it stopped me out, basically bottom ticked, went on to my profit target and more. And, uh, from that point, um, you know, it was just about, well, I kind of had this mentality of, well, I'll either get it back or I'll blow them up. That was basically the mentality. So here I had a first entry long, second entry long. Um, what I was kind of seeing was like, okay, maybe this is a bigger range. And so we just come off the top, kind of a double hot, double top. And so I figured, okay, well, if this is, um, a bigger range, then reason to believe that maybe we'll come back, back down to the bottom, had a failed second entry long. So I took the short and it, it worked a little bit, but I really had my profit target down here and, uh, went against me, stopped me out. And from that point on, it was just like, okay, well, what's my next best chance to just go for a big profit at this point, I took this off and, uh, I was just looking at uh, essentially this level. And so, um, there was a, a, a first entry, second entry long here. Um, and I thought, okay, well, here's a good chance, small signal bar, try to make it 
you know, to go all the way back up and finally close the gap that I was expecting. But uh, that didn't work out. It went against me right away, stopped me out. And, uh, and then uh, one last chance um, to do it again. Um, when I saw this level holding, um, I entered again. And uh, this one, um, I got in still with my PA2. When this pulled back here, um, or maybe it was on this bar, I think I was in, I think it pulled back here between one of those bars, wherever the pullback was after I entered, my PA10 got blown up. And then um, I really thought this was going to go all the way up. So I had my profit target all the way up here to get my money back on my evaluation. Um, and it went against me, stopped me out, blew up the account. And uh, that was that was a wrap on my day. And now, as you can see, it finally uh, went and uh, did exactly what I was expecting the whole day. So uh, just one of those days just got chopped up and uh, I, I, I called it out <clears throat> all the way back here. I was saying it was just one of those days that you could easily get chopped up. I was being patient. Um, and, you know, I think this was a good trade. Just unlucky. Profit target just a little too far away. And, and um, you know, maybe I should have considered taking the uh, break even. But I, I just wasn't willing to do it. I had a, um, I had a picture in mind of what the market was doing. Uh, and I was ultimately right, but I wasn't able to take advantage and profit off of it. And, uh, yeah, what can you do? These days are going to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of the 90%. Like I said, I'm going to get new accounts and I am going to do my best to get as many PAs as I can out of those accounts. I'm going to try to do it all within the first month. And then from there, um, uh, whatever PAs come out of that. I'm going to put everything I have into getting a payout. And if I can't get a payout, then I'll have to think about it at that point. But, you know, maybe I got to take a break. Maybe I got to just, um, I don't know what, but, um, you know, to, to have 10 PAs and not have the payout uh, to me is like, I, I trade too well for that to happen. Um, so overall, 227.58, uh, 80%, two and five for the week, 29%. And 0 and 4 for the day. I uh, can't remember the last time I had an 0 and 4 day. I might never have had an 0 and 4 day, but it, if, if I had an 0 and 4 day, I don't think it's happened this year. Um, so that's about as bad as it gets. 90% uh, discount is going on until Thursday um, at midnight, I believe. So you can use this code or any other. I'll be using somebody's code uh, to do that. And. Um, uh, yeah, I'll be back at it live streaming in the morning, uh, starting earlier for the New York Open. Hopefully, I'll be able to take advantage of a better Open tomorrow and uh, hopefully some better scalping coming my way. This this was the worst scalping I've had on the one-minute chart, obviously, since I got no wins today. So, um, uh, anyway, I'm glad it's over. I'm going to go get this out of my mind and come back fresh and ready tomorrow uh, for a better day. And, uh, yeah, appreciate you guys watching, but yeah, this is the reality. This is, this is trading. This is what most of us are probably going through. Um, you know, you go through so many weeks where you do really well. I've gone through so many weeks where I've done well and passed evaluations and gone PAs. And then just, you know, it seems like you run into this day kind of at the worst time, you know, um, and, uh, you know, and then you go on a great streak, but it's all wasted on the evaluation. So I got to figure out how to get off the hamster wheel of like spending all the time and the good equity of good trades all on my evaluations and then getting to the PAs and like running into the, the, the points of like where my probability is like, well, I'm due for some losses. Right. Um, so I, I got to figure out how to find that balance. Um, yeah, today sucks. So uh, even though I had a good read on the market, just not able to take advantage and be profitable. So that's what it comes down to. All right. I'll be back at it tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Appreciate all the likes and subs I've been getting. Um, as you can tell, I'm keeping it real. I show my losses, show my wins, and uh, show my accounts and show everything. So this is just the way it is today. All right. Thanks for watching. Be back at it tomorrow, hopefully for a better day. All right. Hope you have a better trading day than me. All right. I'm done.